I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, October 20th, 2022. An independent review panel is examining Kingston Health Sciences Center's mental health and addictions program at Kingston General Hospital following staff complaints about staff shortages and creating an unsafe workplace and substandard care. An assessment committee panel made up of three nursing experts have been in town since Tuesday, October 18th and are set to wrap up their investigation on Friday and then will consider the evidence regarding whether the registered nurses have been assigned more work than they should and will make recommendations then as such. The president of the Ontario Nurses Association, Catherine Hoy, says that the problem has gotten so out of hand that nurses without specialized training for patients with mental health and addictions issues are being assigned to the unit to cover staff shortages which still often leads to a ratio of just one nurse to nine or 15 patients. Hoy says this clearly does not allow for the specialized treatment that these patients need, saying that the nursing skill mix is being diluted and that with less and less registered nurses and even less registered practical nurses, they've resulted to sending in PSWs to help cover these shifts. But Hoy says that's not what's needed in a mental health unit. To read more about what finally sparked this investigation and what types of changes staff are asking for, check out the full article at kingstonist.com. Loyalist Township is looking for resident input after three parks were shortlisted as possible locations of a new off-leash dog park. The list includes Lakeview Park on Bath Road in Amherst View, Bath Park on Church Street in Bath, and Centennial Park on Old Wilton Road in Odessa. Check out Kingstonist.com for a list of public consultation locations and times, or you can click the link to the online survey, which is open until October 27, 2022. Today is the day that Kingston Literacy and Skills is celebrating 45 years of welcoming and helping immigrants and refugees to Kingston. The not-for-profit organization has been helping newcomers find their feet since 1977 and would not have existed without generous donations from the Kingston community and now some core funding that's been secured from both provincial and federal governments. A special anniversary event is happening tonight, Thursday, with speeches expected from Mayor Brian Patterson, MPP Ted Shu, and a handful of volunteers and former students. And lastly, the Heart Centre is launching its National Visual Art Exhibit, Connecting Canadians Fresh Water. This week at The Mix, the new 4,000 square foot community outreach and gallery space at the Centre on Wellington Street. There'll be more than 50 canvases and sculptures on display from artists from across the country from various studios. And the Museum of the Great Lakes has also partnered with the Heart's Freshwater Exhibit and will be unveiling a community art installation, Our Great Lakes Celebrating Our Freshwater Resource, at the Museum on Sunday, October 23rd. That event runs from 2 to 4 on Sunday, including a pair of live performances by heart artists and a workshop craft. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.